I've had a question from some African diasporan who asked me, Nelson, what are we going to benefit from when we come to Africa? As you have been telling us that we should come to Africa and maybe do business and you know maybe to come and visit, what are we going to benefit from? Now, in today's video, I'm going to tell you three things that you are going to benefit from when you come to Africa. And these things that I'm about to share with you guys, these things cannot be bought with money. So no matter how rich you are, no matter if you might have a lot of money, you are not going to, as someone of African descent, you are only going to benefit from these things when you are in Africa. So that is what I'm going to share with you guys right now. If you think I am lying, you can ask some of your celebrities like Mr. Steve Harvey, um, Luda Chris, Samuel L. Jackson, who have come to Africa and experienced these things and they themselves can testify. Luda Chris himself has gotten his citizenship from Gabon. So these three things that I'm about to share with you guys right now, I want you all to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. If you do not agree with what I'm about to tell you right now, you can tell me below in the comment section and tell me how I am wrong or where I am wrong. But if you do agree with me, then please, I want you to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Now, what is the first thing that you are going to benefit when you come to Africa? Number one, you are not going to experience racism in Africa never matter of fact it does not even exist here in africa and you and i fully know very well that anybody of african descent out of africa suffer from this thing so it is only africa that will make you to live like a normal person without being labeled in a particular color or in a particular way all right you can ask steve harvey and some of the african diaspora celebrities that has been here that has come to africa like steve harvey said that the only time he felt like a normal person was when he came to Ghana and the only time he had that feeling of being the dominant you know population as compared to where he is now or, or as compared to where he was born so that is the first thing that Africa is going to offer it to you for free you know you are not going to pay a dime so out of Africa whether you have money whether you are rich if you are someone of African descent you are going to experience racism so that is the difference that is what that's the first thing that africa is going to offer it to you so if you agree with me then hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell but if you do not agree with me then you can tell me below in the comment section on what you think or why you think i am wrong let's go to the next thing the next thing that africa can offer it to you free of charge is healing african diasporas need healing and the type of healing that I'm talking about is not the type of healing that maybe you go to the hospital or maybe you are sick. No, it is called, you know, spiritual healing. That is something that the gap that you have missed or something, something that you have lost that when they took your ancestors out from Africa and they went with them in where you find yourself today, there was a gap that has been lost and you need to heal yourself from it. That is why you are facing what you are facing today where you are. I mean from black lives matter right up to the injustice that you all are facing so you need healing and you are only going to get this healing from africa my videos are educational videos that i am telling you the truth okay i am telling you the truth you are only going to get this healing when you come to africa no matter where you go in the world no matter where you find yourself you are not going to heal yourself you only need africa and africa is going to offer it to you free of charge and the healing does not need money so like i said before whether you are rich or you are poor africa is offering it to you it's, it is something that nobody else in the world can give you like he's saying what your father can give you or the type of love that your father has towards you or your mother you cannot receive it anywhere else this is the healing that i am talking about so the second thing that africa will give you is healing that spiritual healing that you need that is why maybe some of you might be saying that we don't understand africans i mean why are africans are accepting you know people that have done so many things to us and all stuff like that you cannot really understand all right you can really understand so you need to heal yourself i'm not saying that we africans don't have our own issues no we have our own issues too but, but when it comes to that part we are okay and it is something that you also need that's the second reason what africa is going to offer it to you as an african descendant free of charge now let's look at the third thing the third one is freedom you are only going to get freedom in africa freedom for you to own properties 
freedom for you to occupy space in the government, freedom for you to vote, freedom for you to do. You are only going to get freedom when you find yourself in Africa. Now, combine these three things that I have said in this video and tell me if I am wrong. All right. If I am wrong, you tell me below in the comment section and tell me, you know, if I mention or if I say something that is wrong, you tell me below in the comment section. But if you know that I am right with all these things that I have just said in this video, then please, I want you to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. So these are my videos. My main aim in this channel is to bring out Pan-Africanism that our great leaders have created, have tried to create it in, in the past, but somehow was a little bit sluggish. But it is now that we have come to realize that Pan-Africanism is all we need. I mean, if you look at your leaders, leaders like my, Malcolm X, Marcus Gavi, Martin Luther, all of them talk about Pan-Africanism. If you look at African um, leaders that have came up, African great leaders, they also stood for Pan-Africanism. So my main aim is to unite us together and to bring back that gap that have been lost a long time ago. So that's it, that's what I said, let me talk about today in this video.